Please have a seat. Thank you for coming. We spoke on the phone earlier and um, I get the sense that you really need to hear a message. Okay. I can absolutely help you and guide you to receiving whatever this message is, okay? Now, have you ever had a reading done? Okay. All right. Excellent. So, I have chosen a, um, a form of communication and it is based off of what I felt when we got off the phone. All right. Okay. Let me get it. So, this is the game of Carcassonne. Have you ever played? Okay. Yes. This is the bag of tiles. And I will be using the tiles to receive the message. Okay. Now, the first thing that I want to have you do is go ahead and Go ahead and touch the bag. Yeah. So now that you have the bag in your hands, I want you to hold it in your hands with feeling and move the tiles around within the bag and put your intentions into the bag. If there is something on your mind, a particular question, please um, focus and hold. Yes? Okay. All right. So, now, I'm going to rummage, and I want you to tell me a story. It doesn't even have to be about you. It doesn't have to be true. It doesn't have to be real. It can be made up, or just all lies. I just need to hear your voice. And I want you to tell me something. It can be about you. Anything you want. Now, whenever you told me this story, how did it make you feel? Interesting. Okay. Now, I'm going to select three cards. One, two, three. And we're going to discuss them. Okay. Now, tell me when you want me I'm going to search for another one.
Before I get started, if you feel uncomfortable, please let me know and we can stop. Or if you feel that you have lost any trust in me, we can stop. Okay. Alright. So, I want you to go ahead and pick the card that you initially wanted to pick when you saw me place it. Hmm. Okay. Now. So, what we have here is two cities. So, what I want to discuss is your intuition and your instinct. So, now what I think this means is you want to live in two different cities, but you are having trouble deciding which one to live in. Now, your instinct will tell you which one. But this card will tell us if your instinct should be trusted. Now we have the crossroads. The plot is thickening. There is another city. Now, when you see these two pieces, how would you connect them? this. Sorry. Or would you connect them this way? Those are your only options. Those are the rules of Carcassonne. Okay. This way. And then I would suggest moving to that city. Whatever that means to you. Okay. Now, for this one. This is the one that you did not want to pick. Now let's dive into that. This is one road. Okay. Now, what I think that resembles is that maybe you or your parents all went down one path. Maybe even wanted you to go down the same path. You're not going to do that because you're moving to a new city mm -hmm. and they have more streets there. All right, so I think we have that settled. Okay, now I want to dive a little bit deeper. Are you ready? I want to discuss what I have here is a bag full of meeples, okay? You can go ahead and grab this and do the same as you did with the first bag. Now, I want to discuss the colors and what they resemble. So, we have yellow. Now, this resembles food, your primary necessities. Okay? Now this 
blue resembles peace and happiness. Okay. Now black resembles everything that you cannot control. Occurrences that cannot be stopped no matter what. No matter what decision you make, these actions will happen to you. I wouldn't say destiny, but it's totally destiny. Alright, green resembles money. Pretty straightforward. Gray resembles stability. Now, red resembles love and anger. Um, I don't know why they go in the same category. These are all of their meanings. Now, if you had to choose which one means the most to you in life right now. Okay. Alright. Of these two, which one is most concerning? Very interesting. I don't typically hear people say that, so... Once again, I want you to tell me when to stop rummaging. Okay. So this here... the coistal. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab a meeple out of the back. Tell me when to stop. Okay. So here we are with peace, happiness, and a coistal. So, what this typically resembles is rule. The rules of life, you can call them morals, values, the things that are um, important to you, the things that guide you, the things that they can even be simple things of, you know, diet, um, rules of diet, exercise, or it could be religion, anything like that. And here we have peace and happiness. So, what I suggest, this is trying to convey to you, is that you need a new set of rules in life to find peace and happiness because because I think that'll turn it all around now I'm really feeling your energy okay so I'm just gonna go go with everything okay now we have a road Obviously, it can't connect. It's, this cloistal is covered in field. You can see that. So we can only touch field to field. So once again, this is probably the road that your parents want you to take. Okay? Now let's see what the maples have to say. Mm-hmm. Stability. This path will be stable 
it will be sure it will be one that you don't have to worry about but this road will not lead you to peace and happiness that is something to think about now Please take a look at this tile. Now you have a road. And what is that? A city. Okay. So, please take a look at this. Where would you connect this to? Here. You have to follow the rules of Carcassonne, please. Okay. Excellent. So here you have chosen to place a new road in a new city touching the field of the cloistal. So, let's, okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have love and anger. Sometimes they are not directly related, nor do I believe that love and anger on the same vein, okay? They are separate, but this embodies a twin personality, okay? So, use with this what you will. So, oh, did you want to claim the road or the city? Okay, yeah, the city. Excellent choice. So, what I think this means is that you will potentially find a new love once you create new boundaries, new rules, and you physically move to another place, okay? Please take it with a grain of salt. Now, we have an elbow curve road. Please tell me where you would like to place this tile on your map to life. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So you want these to all connect. I can tell you are a very harmonious person with turbulence. That's something that you should confront and not run away from. The sooner you get that figured out, the happier you'll be. Now, this is a bit of a wild card. Once you connect these roads, what you are trying to do is maintain the stability of what your parents did and joining it into your new form of life. And with this brings, not destiny, okay, it's destiny, things will happen that were always meant to happen to you. Do you understand? Sometimes you feel like you run away, but what is meant to be is going to be, okay? And you can find peace within that, okay? You are not out of control, but you also have no control over what's going to happen. Now I want one more tile for you, because you did only pay for a 20 minute session. Okay. Another road. So, where would you like to place this road? I'm sorry, where would you like to place this road? Mm-hmm. Of course, 
we can do a uh, ranger two and you can pick the best one we have a road in the city sometimes when people are indecisive I like to flip the cards over So here's the second city. Now, where would you like to place it? Okay, definitely. You'll get more points this way. Maybe even more chances at love. Okay. Now, this represents money. I truly believe money will be with you in your new endeavors okay um, please don't be afraid to take chances but do not rely on impulse because I can tell your impulse is driving you to explore new cities but location, location, location. Mm hmm. Okay, well, I appreciate you coming, and I hope to see you again soon. Please remember on your next session, we can do a high, and it'll be half of. If you tell, your friends there will be more coupons